Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the cosine rule. Uh, so when you first see the cosine function, uh, you use it to find missing side lengths or missing angles in a right angle triangle. Uh, but the cosine rule is a formula that you can use to find a missing side length or a missing angle in any triangle. So it doesn't have to be a right angle triangle. Uh, so the formula is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Uh, so this is the cosine rule because it features this cos a part. Now angle a, remember we use capital letters for angles and lowercase letters for sides. Angle a is always opposite side a. Uh, so this formula can also be rearranged if you wanted to make cos a the subject, so if you were trying to find the missing angle. Uh, so a squared plus 2bc cos a equals b squared plus c squared as well often there is added the 2bc cos a to the other side and then if we minus this a squared from the left hand side then we get 2bc cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared and then finally if we wanted to make cos a the subject uh, we just divide both sides by 2bc so cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc uh, so let's take a look at an example question now. So use the cosine rule to find the side length marked x to one decimal place. Uh, so first of all, let's rewrite the cosine rule. So a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Uh, sorry, that's a bit hard to read there. Um, so in this case, uh, a will be this angle 44 degrees. And therefore, the side length a will be the side that's opposite. Uh, so that's this side x, so a equals x in this case. Now it doesn't matter which sides we choose as b and c, um, so let's just say that 5 is b and 7 equals c. Uh, okay, so if we substitute in these values then, we get that x squared equals, uh, so b is 5, so 5 squared and c is 7 plus 7 squared minus 2 times, and then b and c are 5 and 7 respectively. So 5 times 7 uh, times cos a, and a is 44 degrees. Uh, so uh, let's just simplify this a bit. So x squared equals 25 plus 49 minus 2 times 5, which is 10 times 7 is 70. So minus 70 cos 44. Uh, and if we simplify that a little bit further, uh, we get that that is 74 minus 70 cos 44. So that's x squared. Uh, we want x. So uh, I'll just bring it down onto the next line here. So x is equal to the square root of 74 minus 70 cos 44. So if we plug that into the calculator, so the square root of 74 minus 70 cos 44, remember to close the brackets. Uh, that gives us a value of 4.86 or 4.9 to one decimal place. So x equals 4.9 uh, and then there are no units in this question so we'll just leave it as 4.9. Now if you want to practice some cosine rule exam style questions you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you find loads of different questions to have a go at. You get instant feedback on all of them uh, so you can track your progress, see the solutions and find out where you went wrong and so on. So if you're interested, then click the link below, it will take you straight there.